Hey, what's up, guys? Malt here. And we just had a really, really good battle. We had a really good battle. I got a really cool new bow that I'm excited to use on Mercedes. I don't know what it does yet, but I'm really excited to see it. But I think we have a cutscene because we just finished the map. So let's do it. Let's let's do it. Why not? All right, what do we got here? Try as that woman might to spout nonsense to her very last, nothing could change the fact that she was an enemy of the kingdom. True. She sold out Fargus to the Empire, forcing our people to suffer their tyranny. And before she was like a super crazy cool hero? Probably not. But all that ends today. No more blood will be needlessly spilled. Now that Cornelia has fallen, we will exert pressure on the nobles who were aligned with her. Perhaps we may yet find a connection to the tragic incident in Dusker. Once we do that, we will finally be able to prove the innocence of its people. Your Highness, I am certain that would make those of Dusker who lost their lives that day very happy. Would it? They probably won't even notice because they're, they're, they're dead. I am grateful, and I am proud to serve a man such as you. Come, Your Highness. You still have some responsibilities that must be carried out. Your people have been patiently awaiting your return. Do you mean... no. I can't bear to face them after all that I... Time to see... You must face them. Professor. Right you are, as ever. I am their king, after all. What... What is this? As you can see, the people are rejoicing at the return of their king. Oh, that was a very quick gathering. Even though I turned my back on them and fled the kingdom in disgrace. Even so... The spectacle before you does not lie. We are a kingdom in need of a king. A hero to save the people from their long oppression. Your Highness, it is truly a blessing that you have returned. Do I really have the right to stand here? Will they accept me as their king? Bloodstained as I am, am I fit to be king? Don't cry, Dimitri. This is a happy time. If you atone, all will be forgiven. Yes. You are right again, my friend. I am finally home again. Fargus. How I missed you. Imagine if the other thing was so sassy. Why are you crying, idiot? It's a happy time. It the people have spring, tears of ha joy. The nights are quite chilly here in Ferdiad. Still, our celebratory feast shows no sign of stopping. Have you grown weary of the festivities? Uh, I was going to ask you the same. It's not that I have grown weary. More that I find it difficult to be around everyone at the moment. I have just returned from visiting the graves of my loved ones. It had been a long while since I left flowers. I was always terribly afraid of going near there, but I could not stay away forever. You have taught me something important, Professor. Oh yeah? Studiousness, swordsmanship, humor? All these are lame, so uh, I'll probably say humor. <laughs> you never let up, do you? No, what I'm referring to is far more valuable. How should I put this? Perhaps it is most accurate to say that you taught me how to live. If you and I had not reunited on that fateful day, I am certain I would have died a fruitless death on the battlefield. I would have foolishly challenged a horde of foes. And in doing so, needlessly sacrificed the lives of my friends and myself. That, um, might have happened on the Golden Deer route. But now I have returned to my rightful place. I struggle with what to say when I know well that words are not enough to express my gratitude. You saved me from the darkness and guided me back to the light. Thank you, Professor. With all that I am, I thank you. Are you happy? That is a hard question to answer. I still do not believe I deserve happiness. These hands of mine have taken so many lives. Nobles and commoners, adults and children. Perhaps a day will come when I have finally atoned for my sins. But such a day is not possible until after the war is over. But I digress. 
For tonight, our only focus should be to bask in our victory. After that, we must prepare for our battle with the Empire. To start, we must absorb the Kingdom Knights taken by the Dukedom into our own forces and reshuffle our troops. The Lords will need to help purge our territory of Imperial forces, and I will use my authority as King to gather forces from various regions. Okay. And we'll have to ask the merchants to lend us the funds we require. Oh, and we must request delivery of supplies at once. Being a king sure is a lot of work. <laughs> Just thinking about it all makes my head spin. There is much to do, but it is all critical work if we hope to stand a chance against the Empire. Is there no way to coexist with the Empire? You will soon face Edelgard. Knowing Edelgard, I doubt there is a path that leads to our coexistence. I believe we have spoken of this before. Everyone has something they simply cannot accept. As for Edelgard, I am certain she will never be able to accept the Church of Seros. I believe that is why she seeks to destroy it. She is looking to revolutionize the world, in her mind, for the better. But even if she manages to birth a new world, it would be at the cost of... I wish to end this war through acceptance. Not annihilation. Yeah, but Edelgard's not gonna have it. Just as my people accepted me, I wish dearly to accept her. But I fear... Your Highness! I finally found you! We're being attacked by the Empire! Ah, I'm sorry for slipping away. Has something happened? An express messenger just arrived from the leader of the Alliance. Please, Wait, what? return to the castle at Claude, once. Claude, you better not be fucking attacking us again. An express messenger? What in the world could Claude be after? I am on my way. Professor, please join me. Come on, Claude. Just team up with me, dude. Just team up with me. Come on, man. Hey, okay, let's, uh, what do we want to save? Uh, let's save here. Why not? Bows can attack from long range. Wow, great. Oh, okay, we're going, finally. Part two. The Golden Deer's Plea. Azure Moon. Garland Moon. The Golden Deer's Plea. Wait, are we going to be able to team up? That'd be hype. The Kingdom Army has reclaimed the Kingdom Capital and plans to immediately begin restoring the country and its forces. But an unexpected request arrives from Claude, leader of the Leicester Alliance. Dimitri promptly responds to the request for aid, and he rushes to prepare the kingdom's forces. Okay. Let's see what happens. Look at all those lords teamed up with each other. Apparently you can basically do that in... Um, the DLC, which is out by now, but I haven't started it yet because I'm probably not going to play it until after this. Uh, I'm done my Blue Lions playthrough here. So, yeah, I'm excited though for that. Oh, immediate first day. Let's see what's going on. On Garland Moon. We have received a request for aid from the Alliance. They are being invaded by the Empire. We have only just taken back Ferdiad, and yet I am already asking all of you to move out once more. Please accept my apologies for that. That's no problem at all. More importantly, how is the Alliance faring? House Regan has rallied the Alliance Lords. They are facing the enemy with all the strength they can muster. But we do not know how far that will get them. It seems the enemy's relentless attacks have forced them into a tough situation. Their defeat at Grandeur severely weakened the Alliance. I imagine the Empire now intends to destroy them. I was trying them not to kill them. To think they'd watch us chase their soldiers out of the Kingdom capital. Then immediately go invade the Alliance. Their general is Lord Volvkard von Arendel. He serves as regent to the Emperor. He has presumably taken command after the Emperor was wounded in Grandeur. He is known for his shrewdness and excels not only in domestic affairs, but tactics as well. He is not an opponent we should take lightly. Lord Arendel. Are you concerned? I always suspected that Lord Arendel was behind the tragedy nine years ago. Timing of his departure from the kingdom, the fact that he abruptly stopped making donations. Too many factors made him suspect. Arundel. Arundel Have I seen Arundel? With Cornelia. Then what Cronia and the others said five years ago. Mm. Well, never mind that for now. The Alliance needs our help. What are your thoughts? Oh wait, I think I have seen Arundel, right? He was like one of the bad guys near the beginning. 
If we turn our back on the Alliance and then dare Drew Falls, it will undoubtedly make our situation difficult further down the road. We would have enemies in two directions, in the Alliance to the northeast and in the Empire to the south. That is true. In that scenario, we would not be able to safely march our soldiers to Envar. I am terribly worried about Lady Rhea, but I believe we must save the Alliance first. Lady Rhea will oh, totally be fine. Maybe if we do this, the Alliance will help us out in return. We could ask them to help us attack the Empire. You know, a sneak attack or something. Annie, when did you become so devious? <laughs> what would your mother think? What? <laughs> it wasn't that devious. What do you think, Professor? Um, I support whatever Dimitri decides. We must go to Deirdre. I will admit that there is something to be gained for us as well, for when we eventually march south. But far more importantly, they need us. We cannot turn our backs on them. Let's do it. We will arrange to head out at once. Prepare yourselves, everyone. Alright, so we get to see Claude in the next chapter. That's actually exciting. That's really exciting. Whose birthday is it? Sylvain. Here, just have some flowers, Thank man. Thank you so much. Alright. Alright. So we have exploration, but we probably have some supports, right? We do. So why don't we do that? First of all... Okay. So this looks like a support exploration episode. Let's get let's get through these supports. Dimitri and Flane. Oh, interesting. Let's see how this goes. Why are you out and about so late, Dimitri? Ah, uh, hello, Flane. I could ask you the same thing. Me? I was feeling restless and came here to think. I see. I'm here for the same reason. <laughs> how funny. But are you feeling well? You look fairly pale. It's nothing. I just have a bit of a headache. Oh my. Headaches are quite troublesome, are they not? I am sure it will subside soon. Actually, I am quite talented when it comes to healing magic. If you will allow me, I will have you feeling better in no time. That's kind of you, but I'm fine. But why, why not? not? Have I offended you somehow? Is this a is this a support that I was supposed to be before time skip? This headache is something I've dealt with for a while now. Ever since my family and friends were murdered before my eyes, I must never forget that day. I must never allow their deaths to be forgotten. I feel this headache is a reminder of sorts. Of those I failed to protect. And of their murderers who still roam free. I see. That would explain your somber demeanor. Still, I do not agree with all you are saying. I feel that if I were your father or any of your dear friends whom you lost, I would want you to let go of me eventually. I would never want someone whom I care deeply for to be pained by the loss of me for eternity. And I doubt they would want that either. Perhaps. Unfortunately, they have left this world, so I can no longer ask their pref- We cannot Whoops. ask them directly, but we can imagine how they might have felt. You know who they were as people. As for me, if I am ever to be but a memory in your future, I want you to remember me in a way that brings you joy. I would want you to smile when you recalled me, to feel warmed by the notion that I cherished your company. I cannot imagine I am the only one who feels this way. Surely anyone who loved another would wish only for their peace and happiness. I must apologize. I was out of line, clearly. I must get some rest now. Please do not stay up too late yourself. Good night, Flane. And thank you. That was a pretty good speech, though, Flane. I like that support a lot. Thanks for that. To do it. Oh, is this to do it, Gilbert? Yo, big b beefy boys talking. Let's do it. Ah, hello. To do, yes. Finished praying. I am, yes. You have grown much since I saw you last. You're a man now. You barely know me. True. I suppose we did only meet a handful of times. As haggard as you look now, you were even worse when I last saw you in the capital. Haggard, eh? True enough. 
What does Haggard mean? Still weighed down by the same regret, I see. I was unable to protect the king. That is the ultimate failure. One I must atone for. If you have the spare time to beg forgiveness, then pick up a lance and train. That would do nothing to atone for the dead. Your prayers are mere self-indulgence. You do not understand. No, I do not. Fargus needed you. His Highness needed you. There was no other choice but for me to leave. What would you have done if you were in my place? If His Highness had died due to your failures? If he commanded me to live, then I would live. Otherwise, I would die with him. I have nothing left to lose other than His Highness. Home, family, all but that man I have already lost. You were a knight in service to the king for decades. Not only did you excel in bravery, wisdom, and tactics, but in matters of character, you were an ideal knight, utterly above reproach. That is what His Highness has always said. Mm. I have only come this far by modeling my conduct after his stories of you. But now... Forget those words spoken by His Highness. I am no different a man than I was before, beaten down by sin, alone and weak. I am lost and irredeemable. Man, you are such a Debbie Downer, aren't you, Gilbert? Gilbert kind of sucks as a character, I gotta say. <laughs> he's his entire character is just complaining that he's uh, it's too late for him to redeem himself. It's literally his entire his entire character is just that. I don't think I have any master seals, but I should probably go try to buy some. Even though I have like no money. So it's kind of impossible basically. Well, I'm going to try to make some money and then uh Oh yeah, I can make money through the combat again if I can just spam that. I grew that off off camera. So let's go do some exploring, and then uh, and then I'll do all the training and month stuff, and then we'll come back right for the next mission. So let's do that. Ooh, item, ginger tea. Okay, so Ash is around here somewhere. All right, everybody's kind of spread out. There's not a lot of people left on camp. Oh, there's someone on the third floor. Who's that? Felix is hanging out up there. All right, cool. So Ash is right over here somewhere. Anyway, the very same night we liberated the capital, a messenger arrived from Deirdre. Claude must have predicted that we'd retake it. Definitely. Claude's a hard person to read. It's obvious not much escapes his eye, though. Kind of unsettling, honestly. Claude is a master tactician, man. Um, I never really gave anybody their uh, their shit back. Look at all this. Look at all these lost items I have that I never returned. <laughs> I don't. I don't even care though. Let's go. A hungry hero is no better than a well-fed soldier. Do you know that saying? No. That's because I just made it up. If you're hungry, you're never going to be at full strength. Keep your belly full and stay strong. Wait, what did he say? She said a well-fed. Soldier is the same as a hungry hero? I don't... Okay. Whatever. Is that Mercedes and Annette? Speaking of, I went to visit my adoptive father at his home in the capital. He used to grovel at Cornelia's feet when the city was under her control. But after it was liberated, he started courting the kingdom instead. Whatever it takes to get I ahead. He was just doing what he needed to survive. No matter what becomes of the world, it'll always be plagued by people like him. True. Dare Drew, huh? I've always wanted to go there. Yeah, in time of war, in though. Fargus, most of the towns are pretty much glorified fortresses. So to hear about a place called the Aquatic Capital, it just sounds so elegant. When the war's over, I hope I can visit with everyone there. We can't actually join you on the battlefield. But rest assured that we're there in spirit. We're doing everything we can to support the army. So give it your all out there. What? Anna! Welcome! Oh cool, I have a plus strength item? That is useful.
Now, what here? Can, uh, can I sort this by sale price? I don't think so. Does not look like I can. Man, selling weapons is not a good way to make money. The only good way to make money is by selling freaking... Uh... Oh, there's all these items I haven't used yet, too. Not too useful, though. I wish I could sell whatever these are. I can give people crests from other from other rate from like other people, but like kinda OP. All right, well, master seals are how much again? Three thousand. I can only afford one. Is that the one? Yeah. I'm gonna probably have to do the tournament stuff. I'll do that off screen. Professor? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Dare Drew is known as the aquatic capital. It's a beautiful town with streets that seem to float on the water and an impressive harbor. In cool. times of peace, it would be a wonderful place for a holiday. Anyway, best of luck in the next battle. I wonder if this map's gonna look cool. I guess it might actually. Everyone keeps talking about how pretty it is. Hey. It was over 20 years ago. There was an illness raging across Ferdiad. The people corona? were dying left and right. It was Cornelia who saved the kingdom from that dreadful illness. Cornelia was a doctor? No, I hear she was originally an imperial scholar. She was in the kingdom by my father's invitation. People praised Cornelia as a saint for ending the epidemic. But there came a day when she completely changed. Her behavior, mannerisms, likes, dislikes... Oh, so she got... Everything. She got the same thing as uh, Kranya and stuff, right? Despite all that, Father still appointed her to a high post. After all, she had saved the kingdom from ruin by that disease. But above all, my stepmother trusted her. That's why what that woman said is... <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> Lord Rodrigue Fraldarius has passed on. Margrave Gautier has assumed his position, and is now gathering the lords of the Eastern Territories. House Gautier is equal in prestige to House Fraldarius. Sylvain is a Gautier. These lords are reorganizing the Fargus army, and eradicating any remaining factions that claim allegiance to the Empire. That's of course, good. His Highness is being kept apprised with regular reports, but it falls to me to monitor him, and ensure he does not try to take on too much. I would ask you to do the same. If you take your eyes off that man, even for a moment, he is liable to do something rash. He's like right there. He probably heard you say everything you just said. But okay. Oh wait, Sylvain is around? What about... Dare Drew, the aquatic capital. I've heard it's a magnificent city, you know? If we're going, I wish it wasn't to wage war. It'd be more fun to visit with a cute girl on my arm. Maybe once the war is yeah. over. Maybe you and me? That'd be a good reason to survive the war. <laughs> uh, wait. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but okay, sure, why not? Alright, uh... So we're just missing... No, wow, no one's at the cathedral. There's three church people over here, though. What do you think? The quest? Speaking of the capital recaptured, I desire to call him Your Majesty rather than Your Highness. He would refuse my desire, rightfully pointing out that he has not as yet been crowned. However, the day this war is ended and the church has placed the crown upon his head, then he will truly be our king, and I will call him Your Majesty. At last. Why is this so important to you? I must go hear the reports from our spies. There is something worrying me, and... No, it can wait. I shall tell you more when our information is more concrete. That's not good. That was kind of, uh, suspicious, actually. 
Wow, you guys are hanging out together. I thought there was a chance that Cornelia had captured Lady Rhea, but it seems that is not the case. Our next foe, Lord Arundel, was once a pious adherent to the Saros Creed. His contributions to the church stopped quite abruptly some time ago. I think it is likely the man knows something. He planned to aid Claude, do you not? Huh. I think that is absolutely marvelous. Being opposing forces at the Battle of Grandeur was ill-fated. True. It hurt to side against him. I am happy that things have taken a brighter turn now. Well, that probably means that something bad's gonna happen again. Thanks, Flane, you jinxed it. You freaking jinxed it. What are you doing up here, Felix? This is Rhea's room. Look at how giant her bed is. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, I guess they're closet or something? Alright, interesting. Alright, well, out here is Felix. What is this? Interesting. My uncle gave me some of my father's belongings. Weapons, books. But there was something else that my old man really wanted to pass down. He wanted me to inherit his mission, ensuring that Dimitri ascends the throne. Or so I believe. So you believe. So basically that's your own belief. And you're just kind of pretending it's your dad's. That's what it sounds like to me. Alright, well I think there's like some notes here for me to do. And then we're basically done exploring already. There is one note. Who's this? Oh, it's Sedith. I'm composing a record for our battles for posterity's sake. When was it that the Flame Emperor first appeared to us? It was in the underground chamber. Really? You just gave me a freaking hit test? That's your that was your advice note? Alright, so I got a bit of um I still got all, like, all my activity points actually. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go get everybody's happiness up to max. Uh do some tournaments yeah. for a bit to get every uh no. get some money to get some master seals, and I'm just gonna do some the month activities. Um, Professor. I'm just gonna do all the month activities and stuff and then get to the to the battle of the month. So, since it's all just basically grindy administrative oh. stuff, wait a minute. The alliance leader is too demanding and the prince is too soft-hearted. Don't you think? They spilled much of each other's blood at Grandeur. I lost a lot of friends to the alliance. Sorry, I shouldn't complain. I know this is tactically sound. Everyone seems on board with it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't have any misgivings. Hmm. If you travel east from the Alliance and cross Fobland's throat, you enter the land of Almyra. House Goneril's territory touches the eastern border of the Alliance. They also have Lord Holst, the most valiant warrior in the Alliance. Holst is Hilda's brother. Tasked with keeping watch over the Almyran's movements, he rarely leaves Goneril territory. Hopefully we don't have to fight him, but I'm pretty sure we don't because I don't think Holst has a model. He doesn't have an in-game model as far as I know. But, uh, sorry, did I miss any other random conversation like this? I think there's someone over here. Merchants. Professor, it'll take a little while yet for the capital to be restored to its former glory. But it's not dead yet. Doesn't matter how many times you put the people of Ferdiad down. They'll get right back up again. Just you watch. Before long, things will be back to how they were. It's very interesting that we just keep traveling back to here from everywhere we are. Like, we're in Ferdiad right now, technically, but I guess we stopped by here on the way to uh, help the other place. It's kind of weird. But, uh, you know, I guess they have to just have an excuse for coming back to this one base over and over again. Oh wait, there's someone I didn't talk to. Ingrid's in here. How did I miss her? Could be. So House Regan has regained its influence in the Alliance and is gathering forces. Claude always was somewhat inscrutable. It's strange somehow to hear talk of his brilliance as the leader of the Alliance. Okay, well, oh wait, there's, there's still somebody here. Using the Great Bridge of Murden as a base, we'll spread out and cover as much ground as possible in our search for her grace. Judging by the information we've gathered, the most suspicious location is definitely the Imperial Capital. The Hrim Territory, Hrim. whose leader is a mere puppet, and the Eyre Territory, whose leader was deposed to the Ferdinand von Eyre? The Empire has a lot of places with suspicious happenings. It's certainly worth investigating. 
but it won't do to take too much time in relieving the Alliance army. Please, hurry. Okay, sounds good. All right, well, yeah, I think I'm... Okay, let me just do a real quick check again to see if I've missed anybody. But I'm pretty sure we've talked to everybody at this point. So, or at least, yeah, okay. I think there is somebody here at the freaking church, but... Eh, it's probably not important. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be doing all that random crap uh, right now. And then once we get on the next episode, we'll be right at the end of the month. And hopefully I got some people promoted to master class. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I hope you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.